In this paper, we present partwise model predictive control for interactive contact guided motion synthesis. Contact rich motions are hard to author and hard to capture. We pose these questions. How can we develop new physics based control strategies at interactive rates as opposed to time consuming reinforcement learning methods and without requiring any motion capture data, which is expensive and laborious to acquire? We propose an interactive framework for real-time physics-based motion synthesis. Using key contact points to drive the motion, this approach provides flexibility and diversity in the motion specifications, while our partwise planner improves the motion quality. Our implementation builds on Mujoko MPC, a framework for running model predictive control on different tasks. In the sampling planner, at each planning iteration, the nominal policy is used to worm start and rollouts, out of which the trajectory with the best total score is set as the new nominal policy. Despite the simplicity, this planner has proved capable of solving many tasks. However, the shortcoming of this approach is an implicit assumption that actions need to be coordinated. In reality, there might be some independence in the action space, for example, between the hands and the feet. Let's take the simple example of a 2D dartboard to elaborate on. The goal is to hit the blue square, marking the optimal solution. We could sample at random around the board, assess the score of each random sample, and pick the one that is closest to the optimal solution. Alternatively, we could assess each action on its independent objective, then pick the actions that fall into the optimal regions per axis and compose a new sample point, which now hits the target. This recombination increases the probability of finding the optimal solution and is the core idea of our partwise planner. Similar to the first approach on the dartboard, in baseline MPC, we group all the joints together and assume their action coordination. In partwise MPC, we introduce different possible partitionings. Here we have nine unique joint groupings. Each combination of these groups makes a partition resulting in five final partitionings of our action space. For example, in the rightmost partitioning, the character could be sitting down and waving with the right arm without moving any other part of the body. Our partwise planner builds on baseline MPC. At each planning iteration, in addition to the end rollouts sampled around the nominal trajectory, we have five dedicated partwise rollouts representing the best action recompositions per partition. These rollouts get evaluated along with the rest. And in addition to the nominal trajectory, we also select the rollouts that result in best scores per group. For each partitioning P, we generate a new action spline where each joint's action is taken from the best rollout for the corresponding group. Note that this change to the planner comes at no additional cost. We don't add to the number of rollouts, but only add an evaluation step to check if partwise results do better. The recombination for each partition, in this example, partition five, works by selecting the actions taken from the best trajectories per joint group and combining them to compose a new action trajectory for this partitioning. To help us define complex contact-rich motions, we introduce contact keyframes. They are a set of body-to-environment or body-to-body -body contact pairs. The distance between these pairs is added to the total optimization cost. This is a compact way to loosely define key poses during a motion without having to specify every joint angle. The common objective terms include style terms such as posture, balance, facing, and regularization. Any of these terms could also be deactivated by setting its weight to zero. We consider each keyframe to be successful only when the contact pairs are within a certain distance threshold for a specific amount of time. When a keyframe is successful, the target automatically changes to the following keyframe. Otherwise, the episode terminates at a time limit. Using Partwise MPC, we synthesize various motions by using sequences of contact keyframes. We demonstrate our method through motions of everyday activities that involved objects like chairs and tables, and we showcase its efficiency in contact-rich scenarios. 
Here, we showcase some of these motions as well as their contact pairs. Contact keyframes are authored without any reference motion capture. Even if the contact points are not very accurate, our method can generate interesting motions. In this task, there are three active contact pairs per keyframe, which are procedurally generated to move around the stool. Our method is able to extrapolate the upper body motion to complete this rotation. This is another example of an underspecified motion where with only one pelvis contact pair moved along the bench, the character is able to coordinate the rest of the body and shuffle from side to side. Our method is able to solve problems which require whole body coordination, like climbing a table. With minimal modifications, reversing the existing keyframe sequence of lying down can generate another physically plausible and natural looking motion for getting up. Contact keyframes offer a flexible approach for creating longer motions. By stitching together keyframes, we can craft new and extended sequences, regardless of the number of objects in the scene that need interaction. Given a particular task and its sequence of keyframes, our method trivially generalizes to changes in heights or angles, and often results in different strategies. Given the same set of keyframes from a regular height table, the character shows different motions when climbing over a short table and a tall table, exhibiting differences in timing and body positioning. Here's another example of successful environment generalization. Even though the details of the motions change in each case, the underlying key contact points do not need to change. Our method is also robust to changing the physical properties of the environment, such as the friction coefficient. Here we show two examples of shuffling motion generated on a slightly tilted bench with a rough surface compared with a smooth surface. Furthermore, our method generalizes across different morphologies of the character while keeping the keyframe sequence unchanged. It is worth noting, as keyframes are usually authored with the original environment in mind, reusing keyframes becomes less effective in situations where environmental variations are extreme. The same contacts might not be physically plausible anymore. Using the same sequence of contact keyframes, we observe a diverse set of motions across different runs. We measure the motion diversity, both qualitatively and by the variance of episode lengths across different runs. We usually run simulations at a slowdown factor of 25 to 50 percent of real time on a 48 virtual core machine. The UI provides task-specific controls on the left and a real-time optimization monitor on the right. The optimization method is robust to external perturbances such as dragging forces and the character is often able to recover balance. The contact pairs could be added or modified interactively by the user as the simulation is running. In addition to the ease of use, this allows for quick iterations with contact keyframes. Partwise MPC proves especially effective when the task is precise and different parts act independently. Here, the objective is to start in the middle and touch each of the four corners of the squares in front of the character. While the baseline method consistently fails, our Partwise Planner is able to successfully finish the task. Qualitatively, Partwise MPC generates motions which look generally smoother and contain less erratic or irrelevant movements.
For more details on our method, please refer to our paper. Thank you.